वेलकम फ्रेंड्स दिस इज लेक्चर फोर ऑफ द फाइव एमसीक्यूज अ डे सीरीज ब्रॉट टू यू बाय एडिट ऐप दिस वीडियो विल बी हाईली यूजफुल फॉर आरबीआई 2019 एंड नबार्ड 2019 एंड सेबी 2018 एग्जाम्स लेट अस लुक एट द रेलेवेंस ऑफ दिस एग्जाम्स फेस वाइज ऑफ दिस सेक्शन and uh, you'll notice that uh, this section is highly useful for phase 2 of sebi grade a 2018 and for uh, rbi grade b 2019 for nabard grade a 2019 the, uh, it is important for phase 1 as well as phase 2 we also have other courses to offer uh, the first is ibps af4 2018 19 exam and we also have a combo for rbi grade b and nabard grade a 2019 exams also there is another combo for rbi grade b 2019 and sebi grade a 2018 exam moving on c uh before beginning of the lecture uh, we should tell you that uh, why edit app because 27 of our uh, students got selected in rbi grade b 2017 final list and uh, uh, the recently announced results of nabard grade a have once has once again proved our capability 20 out of 46 generalist seats have been backed by edutapians and uh, the final result of our rbi grade b 2018 is awaited and we are sure that uh, our students will come out with flying colors let's see the first question the first question is which of these is responsible for printing 1 rupee notes in india okay uh, see the options and pause the video the correct answer is union ministry of finance let's delve into the detail see uh, section 24 of the rbi act does not empower rbi to issue bank notes of denomination of rupee 1 okay why because uh, minting of coins is the responsibility of the government of india and not of the rbi now a question arises since rupee 1 notes was asked in the question so how come uh, it is not rbi while uh, the correct answer is government of india see there is an explanation for this what happened in 1940 as a war time measure uh, the government of india the then government of india we were under the british rule they introduced rupee one note uh, and uh, uh, they were uh, given the status of a coin the rupee one note was the give, uh, given as the status of a coin and uh, that is why it has a, a signature of the finance secretary to the government of india and not of the rbi governor like other uh other notes okay like notes of other denominations so uh, you can look, have a look at the section 24 of the rbi act 1934 very important section number can be asked in exam see it talks about uh, the denominational value of the 2 rupees 5 rupees 10 rupees and so on but uh, it does not talk about the denomination of 1 rupee so rbi is not responsible for uh, the one uh, issuing of uh, the 1 uh, rupee note but the government of india that is the finance ministry is responsible for it moving on which section of the rbi act 1934 provides for the formation of the monetary policy committee very important question pause the video and think about it the answer is one section 45 zb section 45 zb must remember this let's move see uh, the monetary policy committee it's a committee of the reserve bank of india and uh, it is uh, responsible for the monetary policy see there are two policies one is fiscal policy and the other is monetary policy fiscal policy is the responsibility of the government the union government while the monetary policy is the responsibility of the reserve bank of india and uh, the monetary policy earlier it was that uh, the government Uh, the government used to do uh, the governor uh, governor of rbi used to uh, decide the monetary policy but now a monetary policy committee has been formed and it meets at least four times a year and uh, 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 there is a silent period observed the silent period is like uh, this uh, suppose on this day this particular day uh, uh, there has been a change in the rate or a decision taken about a rate so 7 days before it and 7 days after it 
uh, uh, it is a silent period and uh, this is done for utmost confidentiality and uh, the current mandate of the committee is to maintain 4% plus minus 2 that is from 2% to 6% inflation rate okay the committee was created in 2016 to bring about transparency and accountability and in case uh, the range of 2 to 6% is exceeded for three consecutive months three consecutive months so uh, the monetary policy committee is directly answerable to the government of india moving on uh, the third question is dash is the share of the bank's total deposit that is mandated by the reserve bank of india to be maintained with the letter in the form of liquid cash here the word letter refers to the reserve bank of india okay so uh, think about the answer the answer is cash reserve ratio the answer is cash reserve ratio and uh, in the explanation part we'll uh, discuss what is cash reserve ratio. cash reserve ratio is the bank's share of total deposit that is mandated by RBI to be maintained with the RBI and that too in the form of liquid cash must remember this okay and uh, it uh, there are two objectives behind it uh, the second one is more important the second uh, one is to uh, combat inflation we'll discuss how it combats inflation but let's move to the first one the first one says that uh, part of the this ensures that a part of the bank's deposit is with the RBI that is the central bank and hence it is safe okay so now uh, we'll discuss how uh, it helps in combating inflation say in case of inflation what is inflation too uh, too much money chasing too few goods so uh, th uh, that means there is a lot of uh, infusion of money in the market there is a lot of money in the market and that's uh, that has led to the inflation inflation is uh, general uh, rise and uh, rise in the general level of price sustained over a period of time so that means uh, there is a lot of money and to suck that money uh, what rbi does it increases the crr and by increasing the crr the uh, what rbi intends to do is uh, see if the crr is increased the funds that can be given on loan to uh, the people are also reduced with the banks so there will be reduced money supply in the economy and as a result the uh, uh, inflation gets controlled and uh, it is done uh, just the opposite in case uh, the price level levels are falling below the normal that is in case of dis disinflation and deflation so the question number four asks us about the current rate of statutory liquidity ratio in india see there is a caveat here this rate keeps on changing so you have to keep yourself abreast of the uh, recent rates and changes in the rates and uh, this you can uh, do by reading our current affair magazine and also uh, you may like to visit the RBI official website so uh, the question is what is the current uh, rate of statutory liquidity ratio in India and uh, the correct answer is 19.5% moving on see slr is uh, the share of bank's total deposit that it has to maintain with itself in the form of liquid assets okay so uh, let me tell you there's a difference between slr and crr uh, the crr is uh, uh, that uh, share of bank's total deposits that it has to maintain with the rbi and SLR is the share of bank's deposit that it needs to maintain with itself. And uh, at the close of every uh, business day, each bank is required to maintain a minimum portion of their NDTL in the form of C, gold, cash or any liquid asset form. Okay. And uh, uh, the uh, uh, range is 23% to 40%. And who has the authority to increase or decrease the uh, rate? That is uh, uh, with the RBI, that is the Reserve Bank of India. And uh, as in case of CRR, the increase in the ratio constricts the ability of the bank to inject money into the economy. Okay, and the next question is who heads the Monetary Policy Committee? Very simple question. It's the RBI Governor. 
See, Monetary Policy Committee consists of six members. Three are appointed or nominated by the central government, while three are uh, from the RBI. And the ex-officio chairman is the uh, governor of the Reserve Bank. What do you mean by ex-officio? Ex-officio means by virtue of the office. So, uh, by virtue of the office of the governor of the Reserve Bank, uh, the governor is the chairperson of the Monetary Policy Committee. And uh, uh, the meetings are held, uh, uh, shall ho and uh, meetings uh, we have discussed in the first question, uh, when they are held and uh, let me tell you one more thing that uh, the members of the monetary policy committee those three members those who are appointed by the central government they shall ho uh, hold office for a period of four years okay and uh, uh, let me uh, tell you who all are other members uh, out of the six members the first is the rbi governor chairperson you all know and second is the rbi deputy governor uh, they, see there are more than one deputy governors around four so uh, the rbi deputy governor who is in charge of the monetary policy will be the member of the monetary policy committee and one official will be uh, nominated by the rbi board and, and uh, as you know the remaining three members would be uh, represented uh, uh, would be nominated by the government of india and uh, you may match the answers please do not forget to type the score this will help you in benchmarking your performance and if you want to uh, uh, know about our courses you can uh, have a look at our uh, website www.edutap.co.in and uh, you can call us at 8146202741 or you may drop a mail at hello at edutap.co.in hope you enjoyed the lecture thank you so much happy learning